Uh, hello and welcome to Tax TV. Um, yeah, a draw. Could it have been a win? We came back. Quite a bit to talk about. Uh, first half and second half uh, changes and stuff like that. Uh, and we're outside of the playoffs right now, so that might change people's reactions rather than looking at the points. But uh, today I've got Ryan. Ryan, it's always a pleasure to have you on, mate. Yeah, Bob. Uh, I know that you made the, the journey with your son uh, yeah. to Lincoln. So, yeah, I mean... If, a decent following, 17, 1800 of fans. So, yeah, it, know, it, it was touching 1900, man. I think it was about 1800 and summer. It was getting up towards oh, wow. 1900 fans. So, uh, when they when they called it over, um, Tannoy, but yeah, um, what we take on, uh, line up to start off with, right? I mean, where Luca Connell starting, you know, what it I mean, great to see Luca back, and I, I thought he made a massive difference, mate. He made a massive difference. Mm. Mm. I, I don't think particularly John Russell's done a, a really poor job, he's just not got that pace, he's not got that. You know, the way that he's he's so full of energy, isn't he, Luca? And he's so... amount of times he went and won that ball back, which he were doing so much yeah. last season in midfield, winning ball back and trying to turn it round into it, trying to turn it into attack. So it was really good to see Luca back. Uh, I'm not sure why I took him off at 85th minute. I am mm. really don't get that. Just let him see it through. You know, if you're going to play 85 minutes, you may as well play 90, aren't mm. <laughs> I could have yeah. if he took him off to 60, 65, 70 minutes or something to save his legs, but... I, I just didn't understand that. It didn't make any sense. But anyway. Got to start at right wing back. Um, yeah, again, like the whole team, his, his performance were game of two halves because in first half, it yeah. was shocking. And in second half, he actually, he, you know, he, he, scored, he scored first and created second. So, hmm. um, you know, it's difficult to, <laughs> to, to slate him too much, really. But I think the whole team were playing poor in first half. It was definitely hmm. a... A game of two hours, but again, we've seen changes to the team. We've not got a fixed 11. Um, so and I think we're probably going to see changes again on Tuesday, if I'm being honest, Neil. But, yeah, I was going to get it. We'll, 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 yeah. we'll, we'll touch on that in a bit, but um, yeah, first half were uh, were woeful. Is, is what, what, what a penalty because when I, oh, uh, yeah, when I, yeah, when I saw it and I looked yeah, at players' they reaction they straight they after, have two, they should have had two penalties because yeah. there were one where McCart got McCart tripped him and I think ref just bottled it mate because yeah. it, it that 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 second penalty that, that second penalty were probably more of a penalty than the first one was but it was definitely a penalty yeah it, it I was a player's reactions and I think that did it away yeah it, it, it made it really a poor challenge by Williams yeah. he's he's made a poor challenge because lads just got inside of him and he's come across him and just he's just it's a clear trip mate it's like it's, yeah. it's not like we've been hard done by this time it, it won yeah. an absolute stonewall penalty with a poor challenge and we just keep getting him away yeah You've got to have better discipline at penalty area, mate, when you're making challenges. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, so we're one, one nil down after five minutes. And <laughs> funnily enough, our Oscar went next to you. He goes, well, we're not winning then, are we? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, he actually said we're losing, actually. But uh, uh, that's us losing then. Because yeah. it's two years now, isn't it? It's two years since we've actually yeah, gone behind years. in a game and come back to win. It yeah. was November 2021. Anyway, first half, well... Woeful. I mean, we definitely had more at possession, and I think there were arguments to say, you know, we'd be a better team. We probably mm. were because Lincoln didn't seem to do all after after one nil. Uh, apart from that mistake by uh, Digivney when he when he threw his foot at ball. Yeah, <laughs> threw his foot at ball. And, and to be fair, that lads. Uh, to be fair, Killips made a good save, but he should have squared it through two of them in the middle. There were two, mm. two attackers in middle. It were a simple tapping for two 0 So he's, he's got away with one there. Uh, they give me. But other than that, they didn't. They didn't do anything else. But neither did we. We just mm. so ineffective at attack. Like I said the other day, mate. It looks like we've just removed the attacking element from his game at times. It were a weird first half. Yeah, I mean, we get into, watch... they get into the final third. And it looks like the lads don't know what to do when they get there. Yeah, like they get there and they go and uh, oh, shall I pass it? Uh, uh, shall I get it in? Or shall I? And it's like they don't know what they're doing, mate. I don't. Mm. I don't know where that's coming from or what's happening. Whether it's just a confidence thing or whether it's a uh, they're not sure about the tactics. Don't agree with tactics. Christ knows, mate. But it it weren't it weren't great in first half. It you know, I'd say we're probably looking not to be two or three down really, mate. They should have had a second penalty and they should have scored that that, that goal when they give mm -hmm. when they made that error. So um, second half, though, I have to say I've always said credit where credit's due. We played significantly better in second half. Just before you get into second half, then yeah, I mean I think we all agree, Ryan, that first half well, like you said, we'll game two halves until this one. First half, yeah, we had a lot of position, didn't really create, as did Lincoln, so kind of accepted it. 
what I would accept, what I was wondering, Ben, is like, start second half, I wonder if he's going to make a more like what you just said on the air, if he start, didn't really have attacking threat. I would have expected me a change in the second half. I thought it was going to bring on possibly, and he did because it turned out it was a decent substitution back when he brought on Cosgrove. Yeah, um, well and I thought, I wonder if it's going to change. Or were you surprised that he didn't make any change in the second half? Or were you kind of accepting? Yeah, I, I, mm. I, 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 I were a little bit surprised. And I think I'm a little bit surprised how, how, left, how long he left it. But mm. they did come out in the second half and they were playing, you know, they, they were trying to get back into the game. The, the game was a lot more attacking. And, and yeah. uh, you know, if we can play that kind of football the most of the time, even though, you know, the end product weren't brilliant all the time. The, they played with a lot more attacking intent, so it is, you know, it is, it is in there, it is in their locker mate to be able to do it. Mm. Um, I just don't see why we have to go behind one nil before and, and get behind in a game before we start playing like that. Just play like mm. that from start. Let's get mm. in front. Let's get in front. You know what I mean? Mm. And um, so yeah, second half for a lot better, a lot more attacking intent. Um, and I thought we were really unlucky not to come away with win. To be fair, mate, to, to get back in, we, we got two. You know, two good goals. Great ball from McAtee, um, swinging it in from far out um, for uh, coming in for Cotter at back post. Mm-hmm. And then again, Cotter creating that chance, zig- zigzagging into area, giving it to um, Kane, who lost it. But then Cosgrove, you know, put his body in front, one ball back, yeah. laid it off for Phil- uh, Williams. Williams, with right idea, hard ball across across the six-yard box and there he was to tap it in. So yeah. it was a good, really good bit of football. And we, mate, we were hammering them. We were, we, yeah. it were there, they were there to be hammered with, with, with Lincoln. And what's really disappointing is that he he changed it and went and tried to, basically tried to sit back on it, didn't he? This is what... This yeah, what, yeah. And, so and, this and, is frustrating. Again, I don't know why we're doing it. I don't know why we do it with a one-goal lead. I can understand yeah. maybe a two- or three-goal lead. But when you've got a one-goal lead... And you can see they're on ropes. It's, it's yeah. not like a boxer having, you know, giving somebody a, giving somebody a proper crack, seeing and them wobble, then, and then just standing back and not doing nothing about it. <laughs> the, that, would be, that would be the most frustrating part for me. And I'm glad you... And I, I thought it was just me, because I've seen a few people saying, oh, no, we're, we're still kind of on attack. And I'm thinking, I'm sure... Yeah, we did, but we, we didn't have to sit back. We didn't have to sit players off, mate. Yeah, yeah. We and, did, I, we and I, I was frustrated. I'm thinking, like you said, we were on ascending severe. We, 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 you know, we two quick goals to be fair. When well, Cosgrove came yeah. on, I thought he made a difference. And I'm thinking, we could because you, you always know in football, one more goal is always a benefit. You know, I'm thinking we just need yeah. one more here. Need and to kill them off, all of a sudden, should have killed them off. Should have killed them off. The style of play changed, off. and yeah. it like we were, went back to like a reserved possession. If we did get a break, we got it, but it wanted it yeah. wanted an urgency. It, it's one. not that we didn't start. It's not that they stopped attacking. They removed the best attacking players. It, you know, yeah. they, took, they took Connell. Like, they took Connell off and they took McAtee off. Like stifled it. And it and yeah. it was like, what have you taken them to off for? They're probably best. Before. They've been brilliant. What have you taken them off for? Well, I thought for me, right, McAtee were man at match for me. Like I thought, McAtee, 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 yeah, McAtee match. played really well. I thought, and Lucas probably in, 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 in with a good shout for it as well. Um, yeah. I thought as defense was shocking, mate. Some gaps yeah, we, back, all three of the centre backs, oh. all three of the centre backs, in in one game at some point in the game took a swing at a ball and missed as put in danger. Yeah, they given it first half, and yeah. then it's second half. Williams did one when it come across early and he missed it, and it yeah. went. It, unfortunately, it went out to the side, and I mean they managed to get they managed to get possession back, but they didn't do no with it. <laughs> yeah. he took a swing at a ball, completely missed it, and then later on, uh, uh, McCart did the same. He did the same. Swing, swinging at a ball. But swinging a wild leg at a ball and missing it, all three did it at yeah. one point in the game. So, a, a yeah. good point for me as um, well. A good, a good, a bit of a bonus as well, Ryan. Uh, uh, Casper Whopper took coming on, uh, yeah. Did, this is why I said I think there might be some changes on Tuesday, mate. Which, we, all yeah, right, so we'll get to that. It's, it's good to see Casper back because I think we need Williams at right, at right wing back, mate. This and is have, right, well, and, well, have, well, and have Cotter as cover, um, or Cotter or O'Keefe as cover. Um, you know, like I say, Cotter's he's had a good second half performance, but he's a bit hot and cold. His first half performance, <laughs> yeah. every time he got it, he were dancing around, he was throwing himself on the floor, trying to get free kicks that he weren't that he weren't fooling anybody with. Um, so, I mean, I, I mean for but me, then, but I think Williams needs to be at right wing back, mate, and he's, that's his position, that's where he plays. And I think, I think he's getting a little bit of unfair clog online yeah. about being at centre back. I think he's getting a little bit of unfair clog. 
Um, you know, it's not his position, and he's doing it. He's doing it for the team, and he, he mm. should be playing at right wing back because that's when he that's where he is most effective. Um, and then get Lopatar in at centre back, and and then Dagibni can go to right centre back or vice versa, whichever. Then we've right. got three big, you know, three big centre backs at back then, which we really do need. We need three lead, three big lads at back. Obviously, January transfer window, mate. We need a cent- we need an experienced just... centre back. Absolutely, maybe so... one or two, but what, that, I think those three, Makar. De Givney and Lopatar are probably the best three we've got. Right. At so, I'd, I'd suggest we could we we couldn't have been injured. We so before we get on to Wickham game, then just on about I mean I've I've seen some flack for Killip on second goal, and I I kind of feel sorry for Killip in one way, but it's I don't think he's only to blame because when you look at the amount of defenders in the box and uh, they went in for second goal, it was like pedestrians it were like it was it, it was like open space yeah he parried it away could have done better of course he could have done but allow to allow anybody that much space in your six yard area unmarked that's yeah yeah hard. i get i get it's not i'm not, I, it's not i'm not just blaming killing for it i mean it, it, it was definitely a goal kick mate it should have been a goal kick yeah. so you should yeah. never have corner but yeah. you've got to defend corner you've got to defend yeah. it yeah. but I get what you're saying about the, the, the defenders not defeat, you know, that he, he did re, pretty, he raised up pretty unchallenged. But that area there, I mean, I'm I'm no professional goalkeeper, but I, I play a goalkeeper all my life. That mm. is his territory. That is for him to go get that ball. Yeah. He's swinging in, it's high, it's a bit close to him. He should have got up there and either, if he can't get his hands on it, he should at least be able to get a punch on it. He stood yeah. flat on his line, ball's come straight yeah. at him when he's parried it. He should have caught uh, it. Everybody was stood one in. Out, it's taken sting out of ball. Yeah. And he hadn't, he's just let it hit his hands and it's parried straight out to them. They've tapped it in. So it was poor yeah. all round, mate. Poor, poor, unchallenged, uh, you know, no challenge from defenders. And then just poor goalkeeping. He should have come out with his ball, mate. Liam Roberts would have had come that. Out there, yeah. Yeah. Liam, come out Liam there. Roberts would have had that, mate. He'd have been out all day long. He's coming yeah. in at six yard box. Nice eye. Go out and absolutely just, just get out of it. Mind. Command it. And even if you if, if you go into one of our players, with referees lately, they're going to, we're going to get it. Yeah, goalkeepers are protected, mate. Yeah. Of course, yeah. So, I mean, on about referee, I mean, what, what do you reckon to ref? I, I thought it was like we crap for both of us, mate. I thought it was yeah, crap for both of us. I'm both just about to say that. I mean, decisions for both teams. Yeah. But, you know, I think uh, Lincoln should have definitely had a second penalty in first half. Mm. And there's a dubious one where McCart went through back of there attacking him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, real late uh, on. I couldn't see it from my end, but it, 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 it well, well, my first instinct when I saw it, I thought, that's a foul, that. that Anywhere yeah. else I feel that's a foul, that, and he hadn't give mm. it again. Um, I thought he let a lot of stuff go for both teams. I thought there were mm. some clear fouls on on both both teams that he didn't give. Uh, the lino on the left hand side, as I were looking at it, yeah, clock went near the side side at dugout. He didn't have an idea what he was doing. Mate. Every time he went out for a throw in it, you could see him moving his flag. He was like going left, right, left, yeah. and, and, and just so waiting for left, right. he, that's, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, it's indicative of what the referees that we get mate at this level in it. The, the, yeah. the, you know, I suppose. The, the only saving grace from it all is, mate, there is crap for everybody. <laughs> well, that, crap, yeah. There's all out there, so there's at least there's some sort of level playing field. Some sort, yeah. So, I mean, went one knock down, come back to one of them, a drill to a piece. Some people say it's a good point. Some people say, well, we're half expecting a loss or a draw anyway. We want, we, you know, expecting to win. I look at it as that it's a, it's a point, it's better than no. Uh, and again, a game of two halves. We're at, you know, I think we're eighth now in, in the league and people were saying, oh, we're not player. But again, I'm always looking at points, I'm looking at positions because it's throwing out over it. You look at like some of the results yesterday with Bolton. I mean, street bear on Bolton a minute. Fly, and, Bolton are flying at minute, are they? Oh, a minute. They're, they're going really well. Yeah, um, Chosen Knights, under lights, Ryan, uh, Wickham. Again, another tough game for me, I think. Another it is tough a tough game, game mate, Wickham. Very, you know, they know what to do with they, they, They'll bully us, mate. Yeah, um, that's what they'll be coming to us to do, and we've got we're gonna have to work our way around it. We're gonna have to play like we did against Lincoln in second half. We're gonna have to be yeah. much more attacking, move, make ball, move ball about. Don't don't get into their game. Don't try and beat them at their game because that, that that's what Wickham are good at. Mm, mm. <laughs> you know, shit out of the win basically. Yeah. That's, what the, that's what they're good at. They're the 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 special at it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, but they've they've just got to be uh, be ready at home, aren't they? Um, mm. So they'll be look, they'll be looking to to, to to you know to rectify that. Um, we can't be sat at home, can we? Playing this position, no, no, we can't this bring back against. Games, surely, like surely he knows that the fans, the, the discontent from the fans of, about the way he plays, mm. because it's 
it's it's crap, right? And I was stood in the way end yesterday, and everyone around me was saying the same thing. Mm. Everyone was saying everyone was saying the same thing that it, it's it's slow, it's ponderous, it's boring, it's you know what I mean? It, it's uninspiring. It's easy to defend. Loads of words that I heard around me, all stuff yeah. that we said over and over yeah. again. Yeah. So it's not just it's not just you know I can't be accused of being like like a, a, a mourner because I'm not. I'm just calling it as I see it, and mm. and everybody around me yesterday was saying the same thing. I'll be well, then we go into a uh, Wiccan game and we're on about changes, won't we? Um, again, changes we touched on it briefly with Casper Whopper. So, what, what, what change would you make for the game on Tuesday? I've been Whopper tied into the back three, be yeah. that centre back or right centre back. I'll probably have him yeah. at centre back and put De Givney at right centre back because I think De Givney can play right centre back, can't he? Yeah, I yeah. Believe. so anyway, a bit, a bit more um, better than Whopper, yeah, yeah, yeah. So and I thought I thought I thought Casper did brilliant when he played. I thought he did brilliant when he played for us. I think mm. you know made a, made a couple of mistakes, but I thought for the vast majority of the time he were really solid and he won a lot of headers. Yeah. Um even remind you know reminded me a little bit of Mads um when he early on in his um mm. you know when he when he started to come back, obviously not when he had his poor period. Mm. But so yeah, I'd do that and push Williams out to right wing back, I think, um, and use Cotter potentially later on um as as you know, to come against some, you know, use his pace against some some tired legs. I think um, yeah. it's probably it's probably the best thing to to use him for. Um, other than that, mate, I'd leave it where it is. Other than that, um, would you start with maybe, uh, maybe, maybe I don't know. Do we, do we drop Killip because he's looked a bit shaky? I mean, he's 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 leaking some goals, mate. Maybe put that. Is it Flav Ellen? Um, because he looks a bit of pressure. Oh, him. He must he must be six foot mm. six, six foot seven. Do you think it would be pressure on him, or do you think? I don't know, mate. I mean, at some point, some everybody, every single player, every single professional player, at some point, has got to play the first game, aren't they? Mm. Um, that, that that's obviously how you gain your experience. You, at some point, you've got to play your first game. So it just looks a bit shaky, kill it, mate. Yeah, it looks a bit shaky, and yeah, and. I'm dying for Roberts to come back, but then we don't know how long we're going to keep him for now, do we? So, because if, if we've got, a, yeah, we've got, got two keepers. Well, they've got one going to Africa Cup of Nations. Yeah. And then they've got one going to, um, I don't know, it's Australia. They've got a tournament in it. I don't know if it's Australasia mm. or, or, or that. I, can't, I don't know what the tournament's called. I'm sorry, but mm. it, they're both going away in January. Yeah. So, so he's, the most, like he's the most senior. Liam Roberts is the most senior and has the most experience out of the three that are out on loan. There's one at St Mirren, one at there's Liam Roberts at Butter, and there's the kid at um, Leighton Orient. So worry about that, innit? Me, uh, he's a massive me worry, mate. Because then we've got to go out back to keeper market because he's not, he's not the, he's been filling in, he's been thrust in there because because Roberts has got because he's getting nowhere near team if if Roberts is playing, mm. you know what I mean? If Roberts is fit, he's getting nowhere near team. So now we've got to go out and find a keeper, mate. Um, um, and for me, we should be going out for a keeper, per, a permanent one, not a not a loan of in this position. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think we should we should have signed Roberts bloody permanent, shouldn't we? Really, but should have done. But that's a probably. Oh yeah, that's, that, that, that is would a, you that would is you start Cosgrove up front with Devante Cole and McAtee just behind with, with performance what, what he did in second half? Would, um, would you think that be with a with a go? I mean, potentially, yeah, potentially. It's not, it's, 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 it's not a bad shot. But then who drops out of midfield? Is it, is it Styles who drops out, or potentially uh, I would? Who, I think I would. Who, drops, who, drop, who drops out? Who drops out of midfield then? Um, I think if you keep Connell and Kane together, you yeah, could have Styles definitely. just like on bench and McAtee sat behind Cosgrove. Because I'm, I'm thinking Cosgrove with his physical presence against Wickham to bully him at Tom. Yeah, and it, they, they set to change it when it. That I mean, we don't. I mean, we slay Collins for not making substitutions or make, making as well. But I think that substitution, he got it nailed on. It was got it bang later on, it. on, it bang on because, later on he went to other way, didn't he? So. Yeah, because he got that bang on because he moved McAteen to midfield, mm. right? And, and, and Cosgrove started putting doing what he should be doing, which is yeah, losing his size, mate, and his pace. Exactly. Yeah. Bullying him, mate, is what he wanted. He were all of it players. He played really well, Cosgrove, I have to say. I think, I think, yeah. obviously, he didn't score, but his performance were really, really good. Really. Yeah, mate, he's, he's a unit, isn't he? Yeah, but who put the ball in for, for from midfield? Who put that ball in from out wide for um, for mm. equaliser? It was McAtee, wasn't it? And he wouldn't have yeah. been there, he probably wouldn't have been there. He'd have been, he'd have been he'd one way for ball coming in. So, mm. yeah, you know, like I said, credit where credit's due, that were a really good substitution. I, I personally think, mate, that. 
McAtee is actually a centre attacking midfielder that can play a striker, isn't he? He's an attacking yeah. midfielder. Yeah. We could even play all four of them. Why not play four? I really just think we should be playing a four-four-two, mate. We keep trying to find three centre backs, right? Mm. And we haven't really got three brilliant centre backs. So why are we playing three? He's frustrating. Yeah, why we're playing three that when we haven't got them? Go to a four-four-two. Mm. Just play two centre backs and play, you know, Cadden and Cadden and Williams on right and left, and then play play four in midfield. Mm. Where you know, Luca Kane. Styles A and and um and McAtee. You could even play it as a diamond, but we we uh, it, it, you know we McAtee at tip at diamond playing in with we Cole and yeah. um Cosgrove. Cool, cool. Yeah. So but it went will he'll stick to three five two. And yeah, tip poppy. So we kind of agree there's gonna be some changes. And obviously you might mention why uh Favel uh with Killer because Killer's been a bit on, on ropes kind of thing. Out of fighting line, mate. I think he's just he doesn't mm. he, he look I mean, I said this to Ard Oscar when he come out yesterday, when he come back to when he come to goal um in first staff and he come over to the fans, he looked scared, mate. Yeah. He looked nervous. And I feel sorry for that because he has been thrust in there, but he's also got a job to do. And in, in his first few games, I couldn't fault him. And he mm. just last few games he's gone. And, and, and it is right. I've heard seeing like fans online say the same thing, and I absolutely agree with him. He's not he, he's a good shot stopper, don't get me wrong, because yeah. he's made some really good saves. He's made oh, some really smart cross and commanding he, yeah. he, he made a couple of good saves yesterday. It's the other side of the goalkeeping that you've got to be really, really good at as well. You've got a bit of come out, you've got a bit of command your area and come out. And, mm. Unfortunately. Um, and, he, and he doesn't seem to have that same presence as, as Liam Roberts at all. Mm. Uh, well, yes, it might be, but I don't. Again, probably don't think. I don't think it will. No, probably no. Right, we all kind of know we what Collins all done and what he went done. Uh, score prediction, Ryan, uh, for Tuesday. Oh Christ, we need a win, mate. We need yeah. a win. Yeah, uh, not just for points in the league, but just for just to get back to winning ways. We need to make Oakwell a fortress again. Uh, we mm. need to start. We need, like I said, we need to play like we played in that second half, and, and, and we'll be fine most of the time. Yeah. We've got decent players, mate. We've got decent players. We've got, you know, we scored a lot of goals. We, you know, we were iced in League One. I think Bolton might have just got creep past us. So we're either first or second day scorers in the League. We just, just need to put tides to bed, finish games off, you know, sort defence out, and well, we'll see, mate. I, I, I think I, I think well, it'll be a close game, but I think maybe one or two nil, mate, to Barnsley. I'm going two oh, no, one. Actually, they'll probably concede, mate. I'm going to say two one Barnsley. Yeah, same here. Yeah. I think we've, we've we always you've always know with the back three and like severe with Killip. I'm so I'm assuming. I think if he puts Flet Flavel in, it'll be a massive call uh, for Collins. I don't think he's going to take it. No, um, no he's probably. Won't. I think. I think we've always liked to concede, but I'm hoping now at home. Especially for Cosgrove, because I think release that sh- we know he can score goals, he did it at Plymouth. Release the shackles off of Cosgrove and what an attacking threat that would be. McAtee via uh, yeah. his own confidence, he's, 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 in, he's on form. Get Cosgrove in, he's, he's got to be buzzing. Look what, what we've done to like start off at bench, I'm, yeah, you know, I'm via buzzing. So, again, I'm going 2 1. Uh, and like I said, need to get back to winning ways at all well as well. Um, Bit of good time back. Like, let's get, let's get Oakwell bouncing again. I know it's going to be an hard. Yeah, I mean, we need to get something going, mate, because it's, it feels a bit, feels a bit off at minute, mate. It don't feel yeah. great at minute because of what's happened. Where, you know, thought we we'll slip, you know, slip from third to eighth. We, we, we don't seem to, but it's been able to kill, kill a game off. The playing styles, the most of the time, not all the time, but most of the time is a bit, is a bit, it's drabbing it, and it's, it's, mm. it's, it's, it's difficult to get fans off the seats and get mm. them excited. Watching that, it's, it's, it's not it's not natural to do that. Um, mm. There are all sorts of stuff that's gone on with everything else has gone in background, mate. With EFL charges and and that bloody kick, getting kicked out of it. We need some of it, don't we? Need some of it to get fans. Yeah, because uh, when your side's doing well, mate, you, you can forgive an, an awful lot more than you can yeah. when they're not. But when they're not, it's messy, even even worse than it. Even worse, yeah. sticks out a lot. Uh, Ryan, as always, it's been a pleasure to talk to you, mate. Uh, well, well. Rest of people, girls, ladies, boys, gentlemen, everybody what's been watching, leave comments below. Um, let me know your thoughts on, on the game. Let me know your thoughts about school predictions coming up for Wickham game. Oh, about the, the style of play, kill it, you know, Cosgrove, have a spice of anything. Uh, please like, subscribe and share as you always do. 
Oh, you have a good rest of your weekend. It won't to win, but it won't to loss. So it would a draw. The points better than not to suppose it away from home. So we can get back to winning ways. Oh, well, we're three points at home. Uh, have a good rest of your weekend. Thanks for joining me, Ryan. Uh, one thing left to yeah. say, you Reds. <laughs>